12 signs that you have poor blood circulation around your body. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you suspect poor circulation. 1. Tingling and numbness One of the most common signs of poor blood flow is tingling or numbness in your feet or hands. When blood isn't circulating to your nerves, the proper signals don't reach your brain properly, and this causes the unusual sensation of tingling, trickling or numbness. A lack of exercise or high blood sugars often causes this condition. 2. Swollen feet and legs If the blood isn't flowing freely through your veins fast enough, your feet and legs may become swollen, puffy and filled up with fluid. You see, normally your veins carry blood back to your heart, but if the walls or the valves in your veins have become weaker, water can begin backing up into the tissues of your feet and this also raises the risk of blood clots. Red vine leaf extract and serapeptase are some excellent remedies to help strengthen your veins if you have this problem. 2. Vertical Nail Ridges Although it is normal to have fine lines that run from the top to the bottom of your fingernails, if you notice these lines turning into larger, thicker, more deeper ridges, this indicates that not enough oxygen and blood is reaching the nail matrix, in other words, poor circulation. This problem is often caused by a deficiency in iron and vitamin B12, which are needed to build healthy red blood cells, but it can also be caused by thyroid problems or damage to the nail bed itself. Sign number 4. White or blue fingers If you notice that your fingers or your toes change to a white or bluish colour, especially when you're very cold, you likely have a condition called Raynaud's. This is where the small arteries that supply blood to your skin have become narrowed and constricted, which is blocking the proper blood flow. You can enhance blood flow to these areas by using a supplement called benfotiamine, getting more exercise, and plunging your hands into ice water for 1-2 to two minutes a day to restore circulation. 5. High Blood Pressure If your blood pressure reading is 130 over 80 or higher, this means that your heart is working harder than normal to pump the blood through your body. High blood pressure is usually caused by having high cortisol levels, the stress hormone, which constricts the blood vessels. Or it could be caused by having stiff or clogged arteries, which is making it harder for blood to travel around the body freely. Be sure to watch my video, 6 Vitamins to Lower Blood Pressure, for some of the best natural remedies available for this. 6. Visible Veins if you notice large, twisting, bulging purple or blue veins in your legs or even your arms, or you notice some small spiderweb-like veins which appear on the surface of the skin, these are signs that the valves and the tone of your veins have become weakened, usually as a result of having high oestrogen or liver problems. These conditions make it harder for blood to return to the heart through the veins. Horse chestnut, exercise and liver cleansing are all excellent remedies for these issues. 7. Throbbing Headaches Migraine headaches usually feel like a throbbing pain that occurs on one or both sides of the head. You may also become sensitive to light or sound and notice a flickering or glowing aura in your field of vision. This usually happens because of stress or a lack of sleep but generally it happens when there is a potassium deficiency which is causing your blood vessels to not dilate and constrict properly in the brain, which essentially means that your blood isn't flowing at the proper rate in your brain. Sign number 8. Cold feet or hands If you can't ever seem to warm up your feet or your hands and they feel cold even in a hot room, this may be caused by low blood pressure so not enough blood is reaching these parts of your body. Or it could be a situation where you're lacking iron and vitamin B12, as these are needed to help build red blood cells to carry oxygen to your hands and feet, which are the furthest parts of your body away from your heart. 9. Breathlessness on stairs 
Feeling like you can't catch your breath when you're climbing up stairs or up a hill can mean that your heart and your muscles aren't getting enough oxygen-rich blood because of poor circulation and even low antioxidant levels. This makes you start breathing heavier as your lungs are trying to force more oxygen from the air into your blood. 10. Muscle Cramps Cramping of the muscles, especially in your legs or your neck, are usually caused by poor circulation. Sitting with bad posture for many hours, for example, can block blood supply to the neck muscles, causing you to get a stiff neck. A magnesium deficiency can also cause your blood vessels to become tight and restricted, resulting in cramps anywhere in the body, but mostly in the calf muscles of the legs. Magnesium glycinate is a good supplement to help ease cramps very quickly and improve circulation. 11. Leg Ulcers Ulcers on the legs are wounds that stop healing properly due to poor circulation. This is often caused by insulin resistance and diabetes, conditions which damage the inner layers of your arteries, causing them to become very tight and preventing the normal flow of blood. Number 12 is hair loss. People usually find that their hair thins out, falls out or recedes around the hairline when there are high levels of DHT, a hormone that causes hair follicles to shrink and shed too quickly. Poor blood flow to the scalp and a nitric oxide deficiency usually causes these types of hair loss. Other weird signs that you may also want to watch out for are a low libido where not enough blood is reaching the reproductive organs, brain fog where your brain isn't getting the oxygen it needs so you begin to lose concentration, nails that change from their usual pink tone to a white tone can be a lack of blood flow, and also becoming aware of your heartbeat in your fingertips or your toes randomly may be a temporary issue with blood flow. So how do you test for this? Well, if you suspect that you do have poor circulation, begin to change your lifestyle habits and diet to help support your arteries, your veins and your heart. Before you do this, however, you may want to ask your doctor for a simple blood test to test things like your blood count, lipids, A1C electrolytes, etc. They may also do a Doppler ultrasound to see how well the blood is flowing through your arteries and veins. And if you wish, you can do an exercise stress test on a treadmill or a bike. And this is designed to measure how well your heart is pumping blood through your body using an ECG. How to improve blood flow. After first checking with your doctor to get the go ahead, use the following tips and natural remedies to improve blood circulation and start to reverse the symptoms that we talked about earlier. Firstly, you can take 2000 FUs twice per day of natokinase in the form of a capsule supplement. This is a very powerful fibrinolytic enzyme that's extracted from fermented soy. This naturally dissolves blood clots, thins out the blood and breaks down fibrous tissue in the arteries, increasing circulation throughout your entire body. Hibiscus Tea Drink just one cup of organic hibiscus tea every morning to lower your blood pressure and relax the arteries. This natural ACE inhibitor makes the arteries become more flexible so that blood can flow freely from your heart. Elevate your legs. If you have poor circulation in your feet or your legs, lay down on the carpet and lift your legs against the wall for 15 minutes a day. This will support lymphatic drainage and help to take the pressure off your veins. To improve the tone of muscles in your arteries and the heart muscle itself, go out and do at least a 30 minute walk every single day. I'd recommend speeding up when you're going up hills and slowing down when you're on flats. This gives a little healthy stress and load to improve the strength of your heart. Start eating all of your foods in a strict 8 hour window and drink only water outside of this time period. Intermittent fasting boosts the antioxidant networks in your body, which lower inflammation in the arteries and can increase blood flow massively. Vitamin B1 
Since stress raises cortisol, a hormone which over time can weaken your blood vessels, start to lower your cortisol by getting more vitamin B1 from nutritional yeast, organic pork and sunflower seeds. Now if you have existing heart problems, taking sustained release niacin at a dosage of 500mg 1-3 to three times per day could potentially save your life. Niacin is one of the cheapest but most effective remedies as it helps to prevent cholesterol from oxidising and sticking to the artery walls. After taking it, within 2 hours you'll notice a flushing sensation in your face and your chest as your blood vessels start to vasodilate and the blood flows very quickly and freely. If you're already taking medications, please make sure to check with your doctor before using niacin. Daily Salad You need to be getting a lot of potassium and magnesium in your diet to keep the rhythm of your heartbeat regular and your blood vessels loose and healthy. These minerals come mostly from vegetables, so start making a delicious daily salad with some avocados, lettuce, cucumber, peppers, green onions and dark leafy greens. Box Breathing Lay down so that your body is flat on the floor. Breathe in to a count of 4, hold for 4, breathe out for 4 and hold for 4 again and repeat this pattern for just 5 minutes a day. Box breathing calms down your nervous system, lowers your blood pressure, reduces stress and helps to carry oxygen to all of your tissues. And to build healthy red blood cells that carry oxygen, get plenty pasture-raised eggs, grass-fed beef and oily fish into your diet. The type of cholesterol that's found in these foods, it won't harm you, but the foods will nourish you with heme iron and B12, which help your body to make 2.4 million red blood cells every second of your life. What not to do Although there are many different reasons a person may have poor circulation, the most common cause is having constricted or damaged blood vessels due to high cortisol, high insulin or high estrogen. To keep these hormones balanced and in check, you should avoid emotional stress as much as possible and practice remaining calm. Avoid snacking and eating too many refined carbohydrates, sweets, breads, pastries and junk foods, and avoid drinking alcohol, soy protein isolates or consuming vegetable seed oils which inflame your liver and cause belly fat. For more information on some of the top nutrients to help unclog the arteries of cholesterol and calcium plaque, tap on this video that's on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos today and as always I wish you great health wealth and happiness.